You're listening to the Field Report. These are flood images of southwest Missouri. Aerial drone images, May 2nd, 2017. These images courtesy of KY3, Springfield, Missouri. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And these are the water levels at Lake Tanikome, record levels from previous times. So you can see that there's been flooding issues before, but this is a lot, yeah. And just zoom in a little closer. And then more from KY3. These are the neighborhoods. I believe that's probably over by the park, Alexander Park. And then zooming in from that side of just can see how high up and this the whole front yard almost halfway up. And this was from last night. All right, let's zoom in. And this is uh, images from Canal Street in Branson. It says it really gives you a night. And this is, I believe, over by, um, this is the back end of Belk Department Store and Branson Landing. Okay, let's zoom in. You can just see going on the way, all the way up, the widespread damage. And these are all more drone images. You can see just to get a view, a better view. And that is that. Okay, let's go to Kimberling City, Missouri. This is over by Table Rock Lake. You can see just by zooming in. They did shut down the bridge, but they reopened it, I believe. You might want to follow up on that. And okay, okay, zooming over to this side. You can see. Yeah, I would stay posted to see if these bridges are closed or open. Especially if you're coming in and out of Kimberling City into Branson or Branson West. Okay, over to St. Louis, Missouri off of I-44. And you can see there's been widespread flooding. And this would be the Missouri River. Okay, you can just see from these zooming out the damage of all the businesses in this area is an incredible look how giving just a broader view let's zoom in and just look at how high up the floodwaters have reached that's coming off the Missouri River and then we're gonna look in and zoom in just look and see how high up the water cresting and Missouri River has had its issues but you know to see these it's like doesn't even matter it just it's flooding what it is it is Okay, let's go to James River off of I-65 between Nixon, Missouri and Springfield, Missouri. And you can see the crews are out. And I'm going to show you some more images. I'm going to zoom in just to see the receding water levels. And it looks like we're coming off an incline or some kind of exit, street exit. But you can see it's all running down and then running out. So look at this. And then we're going to zoom out and zoom in. You can see it's all running off, so this must be a, some kind of a street exit and how it merges. So these are some of the images we found on the internet, KY3, uh, Springfield News Later, and area newspapers, Tri-Lakes uh, newspaper as well. So that's a follow-up. I do believe because I've heard some other reports that they are sandbagging the area of the treatment plant in Branson, so they will be using anyone that's offering help um, because you know that's one thing. You need to keep your sanitation, and this is one of the hardest things about floods is the sanitary conditions and staying dry. Um, one of the hardest things about flood waters, it's very uncomfortable, and uh, there's a lot of cleanup and it's a mess actually very so you want to keep as much um, well you just want to have more sanitary anything uh, hygiene and sanitary is very important especially during floods uh, that's the one thing that is terrible about floods so that's our follow-up here for May 2nd 2017 if I see anything else I will I'll make sure to update it as soon as possible. Just trying to find the most recent images on the internet is really hard. And if, unless you're following up on um, other videos on YouTube, that, which I will definitely look um, for any new updates. And we will post it immediately once we have the chance to do that. Thank you for listening to The Field Report.